so we just moved here to the inlet. We've never fished here before. It's very shallow. Mark's got his uh, bobber set at five feet and first cast, what, 10 seconds? How about that? And uh, caught a nice little keeper walleye. Small, but keeper. Small keeper. Pull her up. Nice job. So we are going on a little hike, very short hike. There's uh, <clears throat> a path off the back of the camp that we've explored for firewood, but we have not gone all the way to the end of it. I don't even know if it's a path, more maybe a game trail or just kind of, it's not very thick brush anyway. So we're gonna walk all, and we can hear a little running water, so we think that the stream that we fished the other day comes through there. So, and this might lead to it, which would be kind of cool. this while we have uh, my food uh, rehydrating. We boiled it and now it just has to soak up the water. And then we got some food when we get back. Yep. Burn off a few calories here on a hike, yep. which is rare for us, but <laughs> something we decided to do on this trip. So this is where we came to yesterday and kind of ran out of room. I think there are trails though that we can find yeah, I see one. Fish back here. Yeah, we're heading north generally, but we're running out of room, so we're trying to find a place to get through because we want to find where that uh, inlet or outlet is, which is just north of our campsite. Figure the animals walk back here. There's got to be some sort of trail. Oh, look at that. That's water. Yeah. Don't step in that. Good safety tip. Thanks, Egon. What's that? <laughs> Good safety tip. Thanks, Egon. Pro tip. Don't step in that puddle. <laughs> it's like some portages we've done before. You know, we're getting inland so far that we can't see the water anymore. So we'll, uh, we'll keep tracking here. So we made it through the woods down to the stream where we fish and that's the, the inlet. And we can now determine if it's an inlet or an outlet. And it is indeed an inlet. So you can see the water flowing down and into the lake. I'm not sure where Mark went. Oh, there he is. Lots of spiders. I haven't seen any snakes. I'm sure they're around. Yeah, I haven't heard you scream. So. Yep, I haven't sc <laughs> scream and sprint away. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty back here. I mean, it's it's thick. Although with your hammock, you could feasibly, you know, oh, yeah. spend a night out here, yeah. deep in this territory. So it is an inlet. You can see the water flowing down yeah. in, into yeah. the water. A little bit.
So we crossed the inlet. And I think on our electronic map, this is still considered burnt. But there's obviously a much gotcha. larger open water back there. I think so it's kind of marsh or swamp all the way to Jack or to Kelly. To Jack or Kelly, yeah. yeah. So. I don't know if, it's, if you could navigate that, but... Yeah, hell of a portage to get in the canoe back here. <laughs> well, Although we could, yeah, we could drive easily, it right up yeah. here, yeah. Yeah, but then you get up here and you find out you can't pass it, then what a waste of time. That's why uh, we get the kids up here, we'll get them trained and experienced and say, okay, here's what I want you to do. <laughs> Go up this, see what you can find, Let us know. and report back to us. Yeah, take, take the camera. Yep, you want to see it, and then tell us about it. <laughs> Let's go eat. All right. Here we go. All right.